And this is the treatment for TMJ. Uh, so Shauna's just red around uh, a little bit around her SEM because she just finished having torticollis. But she's all done now. I fixed it because I'm amazing. <laughs> uh, but now she's got a TMJ issue and I'm gonna treat that. <laughs> so we are gonna do a couple joint mobs uh, today. We're gonna start with uh, some of the musculature so that you can palpate it and feel it. Um, in class together, we'll find our own internal massaging, uh, intraoral massage, but we're not gonna do it on uh, Shauna today because it doesn't really help in a video. All you'll see is me sticking my finger in her mouth and that's it. So we're gonna do that together in class. Um, for DMJ, there's a lot of associated C-spine work. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to treat her C-spine, um, especially if she's got head forward posture. Head forward posture is a major contributor to TMJ issues. So treat C-spine first, then move on to TMJ. Um, there's a few different muscles that I want you to find. Uh, her temporalis muscle is going to be quite large. So temporalis is going to come all the way up, but it's also going to come all the way back Okay, to about there. And how you can find it is you're gonna lay a flat, flat hand. Notice my hands are on either side of her ear, so I am covering up a lot of her side of her head. And then I'm gonna get her to clench her jaw. Good. And I'll be able to feel it. It's quite prominent right there. I can get you to do it again. Good. I can still feel it back here. And again. Good. Okay. So we've got this great, great big muscle here that we can do a little bit of stripping to. Trying not to mess up her hair. You know, I'm just gonna give up on messing up your hair, sorry. <laughs> so um, we can do some muscle stripping, we can do kneading, uh, whatever, whatever you like there. Okay, so make sure that you get all of that muscle in all of its, all of its glory. Okay, so we've, we can spend some more time on that. This is just a demo, obviously. Um, the other thing we're going to want here is her masseter, which is going to be right in here. So again, flat hand and clench your jaw for a second. Good. And I can feel that there's actually this quite large muscle in here, but I can do the same thing. Got a little circles going. Good. Obviously I would spend more than like 15 seconds massaging that. I'd probably spend like two or three minutes doing it. And then there's one more muscle that we can get to, which is our medial, medial pterygoid, which is going to be right underneath this angle of the jaw here, um, just on the underside. So I'm just going to get right in there, and then Shauna's going to clench her jaw again, and I'm going to be able to feel that pop out on that underside of her jaw. And I'm just going to do wee stripping motions underneath, right in there. And then if we also wanted to spend some time on hyoids, by all means, I feel like those are very underrated. So we can work on our muscles underneath here. We can do some fascial work if you want. All that fancy stuff that you're learning with Brad. Nope, you're in term five. You learned with Brad. Look at that. You can do that like platysma stretch situation. You can do some fascial uh, to especially the hyoid muscles, especially if they have head forward posture. So we can spend a little bit of time on that. Getting underneath that jaw. Okay, also I usually do this both sides. You can't see it because I'm, you can only see one half of the head. But when I do all of this, I do all of it bilaterally. Unless it's really, really challenging on one side, in which case I'm gonna spend some dedicated extra time to it. Okay, um, and then again, maybe working a bit more on that temporalis muscle. So once you've hit those top three muscles um, and you've treated the neck and you've treated the hyoid specifically, please do not be afraid of working the anterior neck. Anterior neck has lots of things that need attention. Um, then we can do a little bit of joint mobilizations to uh, the jaw. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do just a wee bit of traction. So she's just gonna un unclench her jaw so her jaw will be open just a tiny little bit and I'm gonna use the hypothenar part of both of my hands on that ramus of the mandible, and I'm just gonna squish and then traction. Squish and then traction. How's that feel, Shauna? Good. 
Just gonna do it one more time. Squish. And traction. Uh, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to have Shauna on her side. So if you could face the camera, just onto the sheet. There we go. We got a pillow. Wrapped in a towel. Look at that. There we go. Okay. So now there's two more joint mobilizations. I'm going to see if I can flip this screen. 